Hello, YouTube and Twitch. We are doing my updated yellow deck profile for this format. Uh, it's been through a lot of testing. Last, the last yellow hybrid deck was about Tactical Retreat. Uh, since then, we've evolved to a different variant, a Rise Greymon variant of the deck. And I do think it is just strictly better than what was before. And I like it a lot better. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notification bell, and smash potatoes. That way you know when all these amazing Digimon videos go live. And let me know what you think about the deck profile, because I've been playing yellow all format. I play it every week. The color is just amazing. It can do so many fun things. So starting with the eggs, we're playing five eggs. Cubimons are the ones that you want to see the most, because uh, you will have high security, especially at the start of the game. But Upamon is good too because you will be on the back pedal sometimes and it does come up and the drawing does allow you to win, which is good. And we do like winning, so Upamon is definitely a very valuable spot in the deck. Uh, five eggs because it is slower deck and you could literally just go through all your eggs. You could do that. By then though, you should probably win, hopefully. Okay, that's it for that. We'll move right along now to the rookies. We are playing four of the best Salomon for this deck. It is the Salomon from EX1. This is a very good card. This card has a one attacking ability of once per turn when you have three more security, you draw a card. So in tandem with Cupimon, you're drawing some cards. It's like a Pot of Greed. Or with Upamon, if you have exactly three security, it's a Pot of Greed. Pot of Greeds are really good in card games, which is why I'm playing four of it. We don't need the Healing Salomon. It's not necessary in this deck per se. We play three Salomon Activity Body. This card is broken, so it evolves on your Salomon for free. You can evolve it as, on an egg. I would not do that, though. Um, what it does is that when you digivolve, you look at your top security card. You can add to your hand and recover if you want. That's what it does, but it lets you peek at your security, so it potentially replaces something you want in your hand with top decking something maybe that you want security. It's a really good value card. Um, just a little bit of a tip, a pro tip that helps a lot. If your hand is really bad and you have no other like plays and Salomon X Antibody is your only rookie, then yes, evolve the Salomon X Antibody on your rig and play the game. If it you have other plays, if X Antibody Salomon is your only rookie, but you have other plays, you have TK, you have other tamers, you have things to do, don't evolve in the X Antibody Salomon because you want to try to save those for evolving on your Salomon. You only evolve onto your egg like, worst case scenario. That's it. All right, now we get to the point in the deck profile where chat requested I played one of a certain card, and then it required me to play other cards to follow it. So the one rookie that we have to play now in the deck, instead of a, a healing Salomon, we are now playing a singular Patamon. We are playing the one Patamon. Because when you do delete things by DP, you do gain memory. And that is really good. And there are ways to trigger in the, in the deck. There are multiple ways to do it. So it's not the end of the world. The one Patamon is really cool. Um, and just going straight into champions now. Uh, I'm playing the one Patamon. So I'm also convinced myself last minute to play two Rapidmon with the package. Rapidmon with Patamon is obviously a three cost evolve. Uh, that kills things and suspends things and two attack over things. Um, if you're not memeing and you don't want to play the Patamon and the Rapidmons, um, you can play other cards. You can play the Salomon instead of the Patamon, and you can play two other cards instead of these Rapidmons. There's lots of other options as we'll go through in the deck. There's quite, this deck's in quite a few iterations. And Rapidmon is good. You can play Rapid Rapidmons without the Patamons. You can do that if you want. It's just, it's better if you play both instead of one or the other, in my opinion. So anyway, that's it for rookies. There's eight of them, and then champions. It's the two rapids, followed by the eight hybrids. The yellow Lobo for game, and the yellow better than Lobo for game. Yeah, if it evolves um, to something with hybrid or Zoe, then it gives your security a boost, uh, which is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, we play eight level four hybrids, and that rounds out our champion lineup. Now we go to the ultimates, and we get into the main draw of the deck here. We play three Rise Greymon X, XX Antibody. Um, it evol I'm going to read this card verbatim for you because we haven't covered this card yet on the channel. And the card is pretty bonkers. I'm going to bring it 
right up, right nice and close so y'all can see what it is. So, it digivolves for one on a Rise Greymon. That's, that's first. Then when digivolving, you can play a yellow or red tamer from your hand without paying the cost. Then, if you have Rise Greymon in the sources, because we don't play X Antibody, um, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12 DP for the turn. For each yellow and red tamer you have in play. It, it, it can kill things. It can kill things. And then also during your turn, for each tamer you have in play, it gets plus 1,000 DP. It's like a Shine Greymon effect, kind of, there. So basically, you go into one of your Rise Greymons, you evolve into this, and you do some damage. That's basically the whole point of this card. And it's yellow-red, which does give you some synergies with some other cards that we go to in a bit. Um, we're also going to play regular Rise Greymons. We play two of the one that, when evolving, you play a yellow tamer from your hand. It doesn't trigger the on-play, unfortunately, which is why I'm not, like, maxing out on it. It also gives you security plus one if you have three more attackers. It comes up sometimes. Uh, then we also play one of the BT4 Rise Greymon, the one that can Digiburst to actually play a Tamer and get the on play. So it's really important with TK. Um, and that's mainly its a main application there. And then when attacking, something that's minus 2000. That's, it's kind of cool. It's fine. It's also treated as a red and yellow card. So it does work just like this card for other synergies we get to in a bit. The last ultimate we're playing, if it's not obvious, the one Jet Sylphimon because Jet Sophimon is incredible, and you, there's no reason not to play it. Healing is broken, and evolving for one is also stupid. So that's it for the ultimates. We play eight ultimates. For the Megas, we're playing two copies of Sakuyamon. I find this card to be incredibly helpful, this format. Um, plays that you can do, you evolve in the Sakuyamon, right? And they promote their tower prematurely, and then you do like some kind of Rise Grave on X-Play the following turn, kill their tower, and that's pretty insane. So there you go. We play two copies of that because it's just that good. The only other Digimon we're playing in the deck, and this changed, and I'm going to explain what the changes later. I'm playing one copy of Susanomon because hybrid recyclability is still important. As well, uh, Security Plus 3 is good, and popping a Digimon on Evolution is good. So something might happen again with Sakuyamon is they promote their guy, and then Susano blows it up. And that's just a cool interaction. Something you can do with the deck. Um, I was also playing Death Xmon in the deck. One copy of Death Xmon. But I had to throw in Rapid Mons all of a sudden. Because we decided to play Patamon last minute. So Death X was one of the cards that was in the deck as well. And you can play Death Xmon. You probably should play Death Xmon. It's really good at board clearing. Like, you can play Death Xmon for... Like, you can bring up a rookie... You can play a Death Xmon, you can D-Dudge Evolve, do damage like that, and then Rapid Mon to clean up is something you can do, or Rise Grey Mon to clean up. Those are all things you can do thanks to Death Xmon. And the continual pressure that card brings on is really stupid. So just so you guys know, that is in contention. But for now, that's it for the Digimon. We move on to the options next. We're playing four copies, obviously, of Sunrise Blaster in your face. You play a Yellow Red Tamer when you activate it, and then you do 3,000 damage or something for every tamer it triggers on plays so triggers your tk it's very powerful and uh you can activate the main effect in security so there you go really broken card card should be limited or something because the card's incredible it wins so many games by itself but that's fine you know what we play four of it and then of course of course of course what some people affectionately refer to as the mario special we're playing four Holy Flames. Why? Because we're, co we're covering a fair bit in this deck, right? We're covering a little bit. TKs, Salmon, XKT Bodies, Jet Selfingmon. You can get some Holy Flames in there, and it's really cool. Also, you can stall your opponent. If they have to promote their stack because they have um, Sequimon on the field, and, and then you Holy Flame it next turn, their stack is just not doing anything. It's fucking sitting there doing nothing. Holy Flames is a really good card this format, guys. Just so you know, uh, I love it a lot. And then the final option is a copy of the Reinforced Memory Boost, because that one. And healing and memory gain is just super, super good. Super, super good. Super, super good. That's all I can say about it. One of the Tamers, there's 13 cards left in the deck. So four of them are obviously T-Kamers, because memory Tamers. Yep. And adding any card to, secure to your hand is just really, really good. Then we're playing four copies of Cody. If you guys don't remember what Cody does, Cody is a tamer that says at the start of your main phase, you gain a memory for the yellow Digimon on your field. 
And then during your turn, if you swing with something two or more colors, you suspend it to give something minus 2,000 DP. So again, we're playing Rapid Mon conveniently now, so combos with Rapid Mon, but it also combos with Rise Grey Mon X Antibody. You can like deal a lot of DP damage, and if you're just short, Cody might get you there. So we play four copies of Cody for the extra memory gain. Really, really powerful stuff. We play four copies of Tai and Kari. At the start of the turn, if you have three or less security, gain a memory. If your opponent's three or less security, gain a memory. See why we play the uh, the three Cupies and the two Opamons? Because sometimes you want to like bring yourself to three or lower. And uh, Tai Kari is another benefit off of that. And then during your turn, uh, when you when your Red Yellow didn't attack, you suspend it to weaken your opponent's security. Making it more likely for yourself to survive the swing. Very, very important. One last card in the deck, and it's a copy of Zoe, because we are still playing hybrids, and being able to fetch a hybrid out of security is very good. Now, again, we are only playing one copy of Zoe. Um, you save that copy of Zoe until you know for sure there's a hybrid in there, because you activate it with TK or something. Then you activate the Zoe, and you get it. It's it's a good interaction that way. Anyway, that's it for the deck profile. Um, I was testing it without the Rapid Mons, uh, and that's, it's been very, very successful. With Rapid Mons, it's still successful. Like, you can definitely just do whatever you want. Rapid Mon, Patamon, no Rapid or Patamon. You'll be fine either way, I think. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. And that's it. See ya. Bye.